I think Echo Eternal is an extremely important project because it's helped me express myself as an individual and I feel really proud to be part of it. Echo Eternal is a commemorative arts, media and civic engagement project inspired by survivor testimony. I fill my life with love instead of hate. Love instead of hate. Echo Eternal collaborates with young people in schools to inspire authentic responses to survivor testimonies. Working with artists and filmmakers, each group creates a unique personal echo in response to the testimony. In September 2019, I was in a group of students across six schools in the Echo Eternal Network. I was chosen to participate in the creation of these new films. Natasha Kaplinski, who previously interviewed the British Holocaust survivors, agreed to interview the Rwandan survivors on film. In advance of the filming day, a group of 20 of us worked with Natasha, learning about the process of research and interviewing then formulating the key questions we wanted to be included in the interviews. A small group of us were privileged to be able to attend filming alongside Natasha Kaplinsky, members of Core Education Trust and our teachers. It was an honour to meet three survivors of the 1994 genocide against the Tutsis in Rwanda who live in England, Eric, Marie Chantal and Biatha. The amount of people who are killed is devastating and Marie herself had to flee with her family but a lot of her family had died uh, as she tried to escape so it was just a horrible event for everyone. It was a full life. It was uh, so many people there and now everything has changed. I didn't know how many people were, 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 were killed. Maybe whoever is doing that, if they hear your story, they'll be thinking, do I really want to go through the same thing as what this person is going through? When we learn it from books or um, something from online, we read it and we feel sorry for her and sim sympathy, but we don't really know her emotion. Whereas if we listen to her, we can physically see her emotions and we can then relate back to her. I think that hearing Beatha's testimony is better as it helps me with a personal connection to the story and actually understand the reality. I felt extremely privileged that she had answered my questions, but when she did unfortunately get upset, I, th I felt a bit helpless because no one really knows what to do in that situation. But then I feel good because we're spreading her story and spreading the word. Three testimonies were made up from the film shoot. These were given to the core scores who paired up and made an echo of the testimony they had received. Challenge hatred, challenge violence. In Echo Eternal, we learned a lot about having compassion towards others and understanding what they've gone through. If someone's come to our country and they've gone through awful things in their past, we've got a responsibility to provide for them and help them get through what they've gone through and spread their message. We collaborated with a company called Highly Sprung and we um, created an interpretive drama piece. We did the uh, drama pieces in front of the parents and governors. My role was Eric, the main one who was um, played for a football team and was and how football saved his life. The whole point of Echo Eternal was to feel how Eric was going through. Yeah, I'm quite proud. Learning and experiencing kind of in a way through drama, like knowing what he's actually been through kind of hurts, you know.
to know what he's been through. It gave us hope for the future. It's changed me in a way because, you know, that 